get in, get out, and you're not worried about all the shortcuts and key binds and everything else, and you don't want to sit there and spend two hours doing a video, and you want to literally get in and out and have a video produced within 15, 20 minutes, this right here will 100% do it uh, all day long. <laughs>
you got file, which is new project, open project, save product, uh, save project as import. And you also got help. You got walkthroughs, video tutorials, check for updates, enter your license about so on and so on. This button right here, it stops things from just automatically snapping. So if I go ahead and check this back uh, and then I try to move, it'll help snap it. If you notice, let me move my playhead here. If I put it here, see that line right there in between the blue and the orange? Now, if I take this off, it shouldn't be there no more. You see that that, that line? I'm going to move the playhead again. Now it's not there. So you got to fit the timeline. So if you're lost on where you are on the timeline, hit that button right there and it will refit everything. Or say I want to go ahead and shrink this timeline. Say I'm right here and I need to zoom it in. Go ahead and just hit that button right there and it will zoom it to fit the screen. So we have a few more settings, but we can't get to those until we actually get a video in here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go over to media and I'm going to go ahead and bring in, like I said, it's the beginning of this video right here. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in here. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my timeline. The other settings that you do have now that we had the video here, once you click on it, now you have your rotate, your scale, you got your color right here. So now you can up the contrast, lower your contrast, your saturation, which is going to make it way too bright. Woo! Lower the saturation if you're too colorful. And that back, and of course your brightness right here. You got your speed. So if you want to do a speed up scene or a slow down scene, say you're pouring water on somebody's head and you want to slow it down, this right here is what you're going to do here. And then of course you got your audio. You can fade in and out your audios as well right here. So also with the color, like I said, you have the LUTs right here. So say I want to go ahead and I want to add a Star Wars LUT. Now it's going to give it the Star Wars look. I don't know how that's a Star Wars look, but you know what? It actually doesn't look too, too bad. Now let's say uh, you want to try something different. So again, all you have to do is just click on it and it changes it for you. There is no, no going through and messing with it. Batman, let's do Batman look. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring a cut and I'm going to bring in another scene, which is going to be my opening scene. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to go ahead and hit the cut button. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in my opener, which is this right here. And then I'm going to add it right here and then it put it right there. But now from this cut to this cut, I'm going to add in the transition. So say I was right here, go ahead and hit play. It brings it into my logo screen, going out of my logo screen and then right back to the video, right? But what if I want to make it a little bit more snazzier? So let's go ahead and grab this transition right here sorry you got to bring it into it and let's go right here with it go ahead and let's start back here hit play and as you see there it was it gave me a transition of the wipes so again you can change that transition however you want okay if there's a transition that you're trying to look for there's also a search right here so we can put in fade and then here's a fade right here all right, so I showed you a few things, what you can do, some of the transitions. All right, so now say you're done with your video, now you're ready to export. So we're going to go ahead and hit export. We got a few settings right here. We got, you know, you name your project, where it's going to be saved to, what format, what resolution. So we can go all the way up to 4K, and then we can do uh, all the way up to 60 frames per second. But if you also hit the settings button, you got best, better, and good. Of course, we're going to want to do best. Uh, what it better? So it's going to increase your bit rate. I want mine. I have a NVIDIA GPU. So I want NVAC for my NVIDIA GPU. I want to bring mine to 4K and I want the bit rate as high as I can get because the higher the bit rate, the cleaner the image. And then I want to go ahead and bump this up to 60 frames. That's just me. And then I'm going to hit OK. Uh, you can also put these out to devices. So you can do iPhone, smartphone, and Galaxy Note. So I'm going to go back to PC. Make sure we go back to the settings. We're gonna make sure that we're back here. Go ahead and put that back on. Go to 4K, 15, the best, and 60 frames. We're gonna hit OK. And there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and hit Export. Okay, so it took a couple of minutes there to, to get done. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit Find Target. And then it's gonna go ahead and open it up. Go ahead and minimize this right here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up to play it. Okay, so you okay, believe you so got a viral, viral video, video or you just create a video, video and you want to edit. So again, we see it. What do you do?
So we yeah, can so hear can it. it. You... Let's go ahead and go to that transition real quick. Then you got, then you got Adobe. Adobe. Adobe There's Premier your transition. Is expensive, right? So yeah, all in all, I mean, it gets it gets the job done. You got extra things that ClipChamp don't have. Uh, if I had to compare this to any other software, which would be ClipChamp, uh, as far as being some of the basics. You can do some of this also within Canva. But again, to get a lot of the features, they want you to have pro versions of this. So now let's go ahead and get into their website and see how much this software is. All right, so now we're over at their site. It is moviemaker.minitool.com. I'll leave a link down in the description below. This is version 8.2. It is their newest one. There again, they show certain things that you can do right here. Uh, professional movie track, video editing. I mean, it, you got a lot here that you can do. You can export in 4K or 1080p without watermarks. So the pricing for this. So you get the free edition and you get X amount that you can do. Uh, so all video effects, text, elements, and more. 4K video, export without watermarks. Monthly subscription, $12.99 a month. Annual, which is once a year. $35, uh, $36, $35.99, or you got unlimited lifetime, which is $60. So all in all, for the prices that they got here, I mean, if you want to try it out, but if you try it out and you like it, and you're going to spend that $60, then you're spending more money. So me personally, I'm going to say go ahead and grab the unlimited plan. That's just me. Uh, even for a year, if you just wanted to try it for a year and say, okay, I want to see what kind of updates these people have over the year then just grab your year subscription at minimum. I wouldn't do the monthly. And of course, you're only going to get so many uh, videos. So export the first three videos without a uh, length limit. So a lot of these videos, you're going to have video links. So you might have a 20 minute video, but yet you're only allowed to export three minutes of it. So, uh, well, excuse me, two minutes. So you're going to export videos within two minutes afterwards. So uh, you only get three full-length movie uh, videos at first, and then it goes down. So again, I would I would choose one of these two, the, either the annual or the unlimited plan. That's just me. Uh, what are some of my negatives? I only have one biggest negative that I have of all this is if you try to start with a 4K video, say like me, I record everything in 4K. If you start with a 4K video then the program itself will lag around a little bit. You have to start at 1080. So if all you record is, which most people do, 90%, between 80 and 90% of everybody only records in 1080p anyways. So this right here, it's not like it's a huge drawback, but for me, that was a little bit of a drawback. So that means I got to make sure I change my camera settings to 1080p. I got to change the way I do things and put it to 1080 and let the software upscale it to me where I want that raw 4K. So if you're strictly for raw 4K and that's not something for you, then this might not be for you. I'm just, I give my honest opinion, uh, whether a company likes it or doesn't like it, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to give my honest and if this is worth your money. Uh, I do believe it's worth 60 bucks. Uh, I tried one year of CapCut when CapCut first come out and I paid $65 or something like that for my first year. And I mean, I loved it. And then after that, they started raising their prices and then they got into the legalities where they want royalties. So the biggest drawback that I can see on anything would be editing full 4K. But saying that, I've already reached out to Minitool and that is in the works to allow us to edit 4K videos within their software. I, as of right now, like I said, I really do like Minitool. Thank you again, Minitool, for, for providing this for me to do a video on. Uh, one of the other negatives I do see is it has been out for a while. I would think there, there'd be a lot more transitions and uh, motions and effects out there. Uh, I think they do need to up their game a little bit on that, and I believe that they will. I mean, they're, they're constantly updating this program because there's not so many offerings out there that offer things that they are offering on there, you know, for that $60 price plan. So saying all that, again, like I said, only two big cons for me. One is you, ha you have to record in, in 1080p uh, as of right now, and it will upscale it to 4K. And 
uh, they could add a few more transitions and effects and stuff like that, especially underneath the effects. They could add a lot more effects. They have quite a few transitions and other things like that, but the effects is, to me, lacking a little bit. They can up the effects just a little bit. But yeah, other than that, no. I, I think that it's worth, you know, uh, 60 bucks. Uh, but if we go back over here to Mini Tool, they have quite a bit here. They have different utilities, the data recovery software. I already did a... Uh, uh, video on it. You got a partition manager, system booster, VPN, PDF, backup software. Uh, you got multimedia, which is the mini tool right now, the mini tool video converter, and mini tool uh, YouTube downloader. So you do got quite a few different things that you can go in between with their uh, software, and it all works around each other. And this one stop shop, and which is what I really do like, is they do have so many programs just from their website. But anyways, I'm Thomas with Tomology. I do give this a thumbs up. Go ahead and check out this video right here. See if this is worth your hard-earned money here in 2025.